Hello guys, you are at the moment are watching the multiplayer trailer reveal for Modern Warfare 3. Um, you're watching this on Red Orc Gaming. My name is Tim. Welcome. Um, we're just going to go through this trailer as it's playing on the screen, so keep watching, keep listening, and we're going to be going through some of the stuff uh, detailed in this trailer. So, a new game mode is, uh, is coming to the Modern Warfare series it's called kill confirmed don't know much about that uh, don't I think it would just be a standalone uh, game mode but let's move on dog tags this uh, we saw in the first person got shot I think and they dropped some dog tags and the player ran up and collected them so I don't know uh, that might uh, add to the score add uh, to your personal records you just saw it then, there, there with the dog tags there. Um, new weapon, Bouncing Betty's. Now these aren't quite like the World at War ones, but they do the same process. So if you walk near them or on them, they'll they'll jump up and, you know, obliterate you. Um, so they're a bit like Claymore, so a bit like C4s, they're a bit like Bouncing Betty's. Uh, they're powerful, they're a bit noobish, a bit campish. Um, but anyway, we saw some Call of Duty Elite interaction with the game, and Call of Duty Elite is Activision's uh, package for the more advanced player, if you want. Uh, so we saw some of that being implemented in the gameplay. Uh, new kill strikes were revealed. Uh, UAV, that's not new. Um, AH6, which is like some attacked helicopter. Uh, Overwatch and Juggernaut, I don't really know what they are. I'll leave it to you guys to make up your own minds and what they mean. Uh, also, support killstreaks were represented in the trailer. Uh, they are airdrop trap, remote turret, ballistic vest, and recon drone. And again, I'll leave it up to you and your imaginations to what they mean for you, the player. So I hope you enjoyed the trailer. Uh, I'm just going to go through what I think of it. Now, to me and probably to you guys sitting at home watching this it it doesn't look that that different it looks like some Modern Warfare 2 DLC um, you know new maps possible possible new perks that might get on our nerves um, new kill streaks uh, all this that makes it so they're trying to make it different but they're not making it different this game is running on the same engine and, and the same sort of of uh, background stuff that uh, that the past two games have been, you know, Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 has to be for me one of the best um, best Call of Duties of the series. But from then, they haven't changed the multiplayer at all. It hasn't. It hasn't changed very very much so what's the point of buying two new games when you've already got the same game that you bought in 2007 so what do I, what, what do I think you should do I, I think you should you should wait don't pre-order the game don't don't rush to buy the game wait a couple of weeks a week a week and a half see what people say if it's the same old same old which I think it will be then it's up to you isn't it ultimately but I, I personally won't be buying the game uh, unless it's amazing um, unless it's like COD 4 because I really enjoy that game um, but don't rush into it wait a couple of weeks wait until the reviews come out um, wait until you see some gameplay and uh, then make up your mind but I have hoped you enjoyed this trailer kind of an analysis um, subscribe so you don't miss any uh, news and gameplay coming out of COD XP this weekend and uh, stay tuned for that thanks guys